All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. The problem I have is a little bit of a popping sun as you turn or go over small bumps. There's a little roughness to the wheel. Um, it's you can almost just feel it through your brake and uh, even your accelerator pedal, some somewhat on the floor sometimes. Um, it's not super bad, but there's definitely something there. I can even feel some vibration at certain speeds. Uh, it's, it's definitely that popping sun that's mostly bothersome on this. Um, and it's not there all the time. Like I said, you can feel it in the in the in the in the pedals uh, sometimes. Um, so we'll take a look at this steering shaft. These things are known for the intermediate shaft wearing out. There's two U joints on this. One is right under the column here. There's our steering shaft under the column. I can feel a little bit of a play. It's not super bad. These joints here are known to have some play in it, but I fixed that. Uh, few months back I've installed some bushings in here it had some clicking noise originally uh, so installing bushings in this and one on the other end did take care of that but there's definitely some roughness in here so we're gonna end up just changing the shaft and see if that eliminates uh, eliminates the the pop and sound I'm having take a look at the other side kind of hard to see here under the hood but the shaft you can see right through there going right into the firewall um, there is a slip joint with the rubber rubber boot over it on the shaft I'm trying to get a good picture of it you can see my finger in there but anyhow if I if I grab that shaft and it does have a little bit of a play in it somewhere but anyhow again there's two U joints on this on that shaft one is under the column and the other one it is right there on the steering box where it mounts to the steering box or the gearbox. So I think the problem's actually in the in the joints on the steering shaft itself. So we're going to go ahead and remove this and replace it. So if we look under the column on the steering shaft, there's one bolt that holds it, which is right here. It's like a pinch bolt that goes across and tightens up on this end and pinches it onto the, the shaft coming off of the steering. Uh, so we'll go ahead and loosen up that bolt. It's a half inch. You could use a wrench or a socket. Um, so we'll go ahead and take that out and loosen that end up. So we'll remove it completely. Again, it's a half inch. If you want to use a socket and you want to do it on the end, you can always unlock the wheel and spin it so the bolt end ends up at the bottom. And you can take it out that way with a gun or, or by hand or what have you. So we'll go ahead and remove that bolt. So once that bolt is removed completely, you can actually pull on that joint. The, the shaft will collapse and you're able to remove it completely off of the, the steering shaft coming off the steering wheel. Um, so you can push that down and that'll collapse all the way and that'll come out completely from the wheel. Not on this end. There is a boot going through the firewall which goes through. This boot can come out of the, the firewall. Let's take a look at the other side in the engine bay. Looking through the engine bay, there's going to be a couple different ways we can remove this. Depending on if we're trying to remove the shaft as all one piece. But to do that, you would also have to remove the boot that's in the firewall that the shaft goes through. And I'd rather not do that if I don't have to. Try to keep that intact. Since this is a two-piece shaft, there's an intermediate shaft. Um, and there is a bolt right in the middle here. Kind of hard to see. But there is another half-inch bolt here. Uh, I'll try to separate the shaft there and see if I can pull this piece. Possibly maybe through the inside after that. And then we'll remove the other end from the steering gearbox. So now we're under the truck. And here is our joint right at the, the gearbox, the steering box. And so here is the other uh, U-joint that's at in that steering column. Um, so we'll go ahead and remove this nut here or the bolt here. And this whole joint should pull off, and then we'll take the complete shaft out of the vehicle. And that is a 10 millimeter bolt. I have that loose, so we'll go ahead and uh, 
completely remove that bolt from this joint. So once you have that loose route, that joint will completely pull out of the gearbox. So here is the uh, intermediate shaft I was able to remove off of the, the steering box by removing this 10 millimeter bolt. And again, I separated uh, the shaft here in the center. So I was able to pull this off and pull this off of the other end um, so I can remove it in uh, two separate pieces. Okay, so what I ended up doing was removing the, this boot from our remaining shaft uh, so I can pull the shaft out from the inside. And this wouldn't have let me do it because it would get caught in the, in the grommet that's in the firewall. Now that I have the boot off, let's see if I can, I can just pull this shaft out this way. Okay, plenty of room. So there's our shaft. I've removed the other, uh, other piece from the inside of the truck here. Uh, now you can see that, uh, that big boot or the grommet in the firewall. Shaft goes right through here. So here is our replacement shaft. Looks a little bit different than our, uh, our original shaft that's in the truck. Uh, but this should work. Seems like a nice solid shaft. Um, so the first thing I want to do is paint this so it stays clean for a long time. Something you don't have to do. Uh, but that's what I will do. I will take one of these uh, ends, of, ends off. And uh, we'll just give it, a, give it a coat of paint. Okay, so here's my original shaft that I just removed from the truck compared to what's going to be going in. A little bit of a different style, but it all should work. So again, removing it, what I did was I separated it. The shaft fits into that half just like that. By removing this nut, I was able to separate it here. The boot was right over this joint. I was able to cut the clamps on both ends, remove this boot once I had this apart. And I was able to pull this shaft straight out from the inside of the truck. Uh, now, I don't see any issues with this joint. This sits in inside of the truck underneath the steering column. Um, this joint is definitely bad. There's not a lot of play in it, but it, it, it does, you guys can feel the roughness. It kind of binds up, and that might be where my popping was coming from. So we'll go ahead and uh, put, uh, put the new shaft in and see if that takes care of the problem. Now one issue that I can see we're going to have is the original shaft where it goes through the firewall through that rubber boot and that sits about here you can see where that mark is uh, it's round shaft now the aftermarket one that you get has two flat sides to it so it's not going to seal up completely in that boot uh, but I think later on we'll uh, maybe we'll fill it with silicone or something like that just to seal it up so we don't get any any smells or anything from the engine bay into the cab you might ask why red well it just adds about 10 horsepower to the truck um, so that's the reason for doing it just kidding obviously <laughs> the reason for doing that is this is the only color I had left uh, otherwise I would have painted it black but I had red and I was out of black so red it is as far as the replacement choices on the steering shaft on these Dodge Rams uh, there's only one company that actually makes one uh, which is Borgeson's and they're just about $300, uh, just under $300. I've gone with a Chinese version of the, of the same shaft. This is pretty much an identical design to the, the Borgesons. Um, I'd like to see if that... Uh, it seems to be a decent quality. I'm sure it's not as good as the, the Borgesons, but uh, again, it's an identical, uh, identical design. Uh, we'll see how this does and see if this eliminates the issue that I'm having with the popping noise and some vibrations. Uh, the joints on this look good. Now to put the new shaft in the vehicle, uh, the cool thing about the aftermarket shaft is the ends are removable. They just have set screws to hold it onto the shaft itself. So I'll remove one of the ends and put this shaft in through the inside. This is the, the steering column side. And this obviously is the gearbox side. This has the I'll have to clean up some of that paint I oversprayed in there. Uh, again, this is the, the steering box side. So that'll go on the box. This has the splines, the other end doesn't. So again, that's the steering box side. So I've removed that end and I'll put the shaft in through the, uh, through the inside of the truck. And then uh, we'll go ahead and connect it. I went ahead and pushed our new shaft 
through the boot from the inside of the truck and I connected this end to the steering shaft with a steering column. It's not tight, I just left it loose. Now well, let's go take a look at the other end. You can see the other end of the shaft coming out of the the firewall here. Now I can go ahead and slip this uh, little boot over the slip joint of this new shaft. That's supposed to be right in the center here on the shaft. I'll put that in then we'll go ahead and connect the other end which is which is this piece here. We'll go ahead and connect that to our shaft and connect it to our steering box. I have the joint uh, installed here onto the shaft and the other end onto the steering box. Um, so now we'll go ahead and tighten up all the set screws. There's two on this end of the same joint and there's one here that goes onto the steering steering box. I do recommend using uh, some type of a Loctite. I think it's a little bit important here to make sure these uh, joints stay on. Now you might remember what my thoughts were for this shaft going through this grommet uh, or this rubber boot. Since the original shaft was completely round, this new shaft has two flat sides. I was thinking there was going to be a big gap between the boot and the shaft. It's very minimal. Um, I don't think it's anything to worry about. If anything, could do a little bit of uh, silicone around it and just seal that up if, if there's any worries on that. But I think I'm just going to leave that alone for now. I don't think it'll be an issue. I got that joint here tightened up with uh, set screws. We'll see how this does. I'm going to take it for a test drive. See for uh, it solved our issue. So I was able to I was able to take it for a test drive. Steering feels great. The popping sound from the steering when turning is gone. I do still have a slight vibration in the steering. Nothing too bad, uh, which was there before. It seems to be actually a little better. Uh, I think that may be coming from the drive line, possibly. Uh, I think my front drive shaft. So that's something we can take a look at, uh, maybe possibly in the next video. Uh, but that shaft did make uh, a big difference. Steering wheel feels very smooth, no issues, turning, no popping noises like it did before. Um, so what I'm thinking is the whole whole problem was this joint. It's actually here. It's, it's pretty rough. There was, there's really no play to it, very slight. Uh, but it's, it's that roughness. That's what was causing the popping joint sound as, uh, as, as we're turning the wheel. That's where that was coming from. Um, anyhow... This end of the shaft is is still good. Another problem these shafts have is this joint here. Um, it's actually rubber filled here. It's a rubber joint. It's like a dampener. And there's a metal shaft that goes through here. Basically a pin that holds this, this shaft to this joint. Uh, and those, over time, the rubber shrinks and that pin comes loose in there. And then as the as you're turning the wheel, you'll hear a clicking noise. That's that metal pin hitting this, the body of it, and that'll cause some sound. So a few months back, I did take care of that. You can buy bushings uh, to take care of that gap. I ended up making my own, and I've epoxied them in. So that's a nice solid joint there, and there's no issue in this joint on this end. You can get this end of the shaft separately. I believe they call it the intermediate shaft. Um, so if I end up not liking this shaft that we put in this truck, the new one, um, we'll see how long it lasts. Uh, if not, we'll take this end of the shaft, get it intermediate shaft, and we can always put this back in there too. Uh, so we'll see. I will, uh, I will do an update on this in a few months and see how it's doing. We'll check it, make sure the joints are good. But I think we'll be all right. Um, there seems to be no issues. The steering wheel feels tight. There's no problems with it. Uh, I think it should be fine. I will leave a link in the description for this part. If you're having any issues with your steering wheel on a third gen RAM, um, not horribly hard to do or anything like that. Fairly easy job to make your steering feel better. I thank you for watching. Take care.